one ticket has already been punched to play here on Sunday. The Towson Tigers taking down the Hofstra Pride in the first game. Who will they meet at 1 o'clock on Sunday? That'll be right here on CAA.TV. Will it be the host school, the number three seed, University of Delaware, or the number 18th ranked team in the country, the two seed, the JMU Dukes? Good dump inside. Shot and a goal. There it is. Allison Kerwin, the senior. There's a dodge inside. We're going to get a oh, shot. Wow. Low and in. Now coming inside is Monticello. Beats her, beats her defender inside. Tiptoes the crease and dunks it in. We're out there. There's a lot of milling about. Holly inside. Point blank. Shot and a goal. And she goes in lefty. Shot and a goal. Taking advantage. Gordon, the junior from Groton, Mass. Here's a dodge. Gordon, shot. That's a goal. Some fire on that one. On a side for Holly. Holly's got some room. Got some goal. Shot. It. There it is. Shannon Holly, her second goal of the day. Schwartz looking to come inside. Tiptoes to crease. And they're going to say she was. And it's a goal. And they're going to say it was a goal. I thought they were going to say she stepped in the crease. And she even she gives a <laughs> shrug. But Jamie Schwartz slides one in there. Is it back? There's a look inside. Nice oh pass and a shot and a goal. Leah Monticello, her second of the day. Up she's got That's it. To tell us. Shot and a goal. Care to tell us. Ties things up at five. Just 47 seconds. And there's That's McCartney. Beautiful. Got some room. Beautiful. Shot and a goal. Caitlin McCartney. Even if you score, that shot gets taken back. And there it is. Jackie Gordon. Flying there, you know someone's going to be coming at you. Oh. And there's a goal. Casey Lyons gets in on the action. I believe that was actually Aaron Ween. Looking to even things up. There's the shot and a goal. Back and forth we go. We are there. A little miscommunication. Now inside. Finley with shot and a goal. Stephanie Finley. Pace wow. inside. Shot and a goal. Betsy Angel. Inside. Good feed. Inside roll. Shot and a wow. goal. Taylor Gress. And that will do it. The JMU Dukes come into the University of Delaware and take down the three seed. They will advance to yet another CAA championship game. I asked you earlier, you had a lot of offense. We got Ali Kerwin, Stephanie Finley, but talk about your performance today, a hat trick and an assist. Just what were you seeing out there that just worked? Um, well, I pride myself on being a team player and you know, it's, it's my team that allowed me to have those goals and that assist. And so it's not about me, it's about my team. And that's, that's how I feel. <laughs> you know, I'm just really, really pleased with my team in Delaware. I thought played a better game tonight than they played in the regular season game. Credit to them. I thought their dodging was really on point. It forced our defensive unit to really come together tonight, but we did. You know, I think we really locked it down in the second half. Um, there was a moment where Skyly Hilly wasn't seeing the ball, but then she found herself. The defense um, came together as a team, and we just really rallied behind that. You know, I, I think, too, the, the draw control battle was yep. huge tonight. I thought um, number eight from um, Delaware, Caitlin, she just, she's, a, she's just such a tremendous competitor. And, and it took everything that we had to try to find um, a solution for her. Um, you know, and then just like you were saying with Jackie, we have so many threats on the offensive end. Um, our shooting was so strong tonight. Um, you know, and I, and I think that we really did a good job of, of showing composure on the ball to protect our sticks because Delaware is really quick um, and they like to cause turnovers and cause havoc on that defensive end and, and really put on, some pressure on you to, to make a play before you're ready. So I was really pleased with our composure. Um, you know, when it counted. Well, I think that, you know, the biggest thing for us is, is really, truly understanding what it means to put the focus on JMU. You know, I think that, um, you know, we got the monkey off of our back in the regular season with the win. For so long, Towson had been on a pedestal, and, and that's just not what you want mentally. And so, you know, we've worked hard this year to, to train really hard and to put the focus on us and, and make it about JMU lacrosse and, and bring our style, our enthusiasm, and, and um, execute and finish plays. So I'm excited to see this team show that resilience and that mental toughness that we're working so hard for.